I'm going to be making a uh, temperature controller for my heating seed starting heating pads. And I'm going to use this STC3008 since it has two different uh, settings or two different outlets. So what I've done is I've got this thing wired or ran just a piece of an old electrical cord. Here's the end of that and that's what I'm using for my wiring here on this. It comes with the two temperature probes already. And then I want to use this outlet. I broke this tab off of the middle. It's got these little uh, metal tabs. So that'll split this up into two different outlets, separate outlets for these two wires to go to. And then I've taken a piece of plexiglass and cut the holes out that fits these out or fits the outlet and the STC3008. And then I've got this metal box I picked up at the Habitat for Humanity store and I'm going to mount it all inside there. So I'm going to get this uh, wired up and then I'm just going to come back and I'll show you what I got. This is where your your outputs are. It doesn't show it, and this isn't in focus very well, but it doesn't show it, but you need a source of power for these two output ports. Just because the relay closes doesn't mean it's going to work for, you, for your power. So you need a source. And what I did, I did is uh, I bought the uh, 115 volt model so here's my power cord here running into my STC 3008 so I got my two power leads coming into here my power lead also goes over to one side of these output relay ports so two sides go there the other side of my power goes to the one side of the outlet and the output port of these two relay points are just dead ended here. So this is my plug where I plug in right here. So one side's hot, one side's not. So my plug goes in here. So when the relay kicks on it completes the circuit so the power can travel through the, the wiring so and I didn't know that originally I just took my two leads up here and it did not work so just to let you know you need a power source to these points I wanted to show my uh, STC 3008 uh, controller I bought for my uh, seed starting mats and you can use it for either heating or cooling and you know you can use it the way it's set up here is this side is for heating and this side right now is set up for cooling and you can set both sides up for heating and or you could set both sides up for cooling just depending on how you arrange your on offs the up arrow is when it comes on and the down arrow is when it goes off. So the way it's set up for heating is the on it comes on at 10 and then it goes off at 11.1 uh, Celsius. The off or the cooling is just the opposite. The, uh, the on is a little higher than the off. So you can set those two numbers however you want. In this case, it's one. This side is hooked up to a light bulb, and the other side is hooked up to a fan. But you could have both sides hooked up to a heating source, or both sides hooked up to a cooling source. And the way you adjust this is you just hold the button down, and then it will 
flash and then that's the number you can adjust by just hitting the up and down buttons here and if you want to adjust your lower setting your offsetting you just push the down button and you adjust it with the two buttons here so it's pretty easy to do so say I wanted this to be 11.3 when it goes off all I have to do is hit the off button which is the down and then adjust it 11.3 there we go just hit that twice and it went up to 11.3 so that's how that works I've got if I hold the temperature probe over here on the fan side and you'll watch if you can see the blue numbers they are going up once it gets to 10.5 the fan will kick on and there's the fan kicks on and the way I've got this hooked up right now is the temperature probe is sitting here on this light bulb so the fans gonna cool the light bulb off the temperature will go down on the heating side because the fan came on and when it gets to 10 it comes on and eventually the fans gonna go off and it's kind of a repeat cycle so I just want to show that and there you go pretty easy to adjust and did want to make well that's it